When you want to know what plants will thrive in your yard or garden beneath the shade of trees, you should look no further. You may have a hard time finding a plant that will thrive in partial shade without eating into the nutrients your trees need. All kinds of trees may provide shade for some plants, and in this video, we'll take a look at some of our favorites. Number one, Brazilian plume. The compact Brazilian plume is a tall evergreen shrub native to the tropics. Its foliage is pine-colored, and it bears a profusion of clustered tubular flowers in vibrant, cheery hues that like a firework show. Even in the dead of winter, the vibrant hues of these carnival-style flowers remain. Although it performs best in full shade and moist soil, Justicia carnea is surprisingly tolerant of a wide range of soil types. Number two, carpet bugle. In areas where other grasses refuse to germinate, the eager spreader carpet bugle produces mats of densely spiraling leaf rosettes, serving as a model of adaptability and resilience. It's beginning to replace grassy areas, underbrush and stone path fillers as people seek out more eco-friendly, evergreen options. Hummingbirds and butterflies are attracted to the spikes of candy-colored florets that blew from Echuga reptans in the late spring and early summer. Number three, Christmas Rose. The legendary Christmas Rose, with its almost miraculous winter flowering season, is a perennial that appears in many classic legends. The golden stamens of the creamy ivory blossoms will cause them to self-sell, making this an ideal plant for illuminating heavily shaded areas. This plant prefers a medium moisture level, but chalk, clay, or loam won't stop them from growing. Number four, common as stillboys. With peltate leaves that can reach a width of three feet, a stillboid's tabularis is a real eye catcher in the architectural world. As they emerge from the stem, the fronds, which resemble lily pads, display charming, wavy edges that contrast exquisitely with the etched veins. The impact is amplified in the latter part of spring when the delicate crests of cream blooms emerge. This plant actually prefers shaded areas like muddy swamps, stream banks, and humid forests. Number five, crevice alum root. Crevice alum root forms elegant mounds of metallic, scallop-edged leaves in beautiful purple, maroon, and burgundy colors. In the latter part of spring, you may see slender stalks poking out from the foliage. When they're ready, they'll burst forth with little white flowers. If you want dense rosettes, mass plant them in dry, shaded spots under thick tree canopies. Number six, curled plantain lily. This hostile variety forms clusters of attractive green leaves that have wavy white edges. If your underbrush is too dense, this is the ideal way to add some color. When summer first arrives, the lavender blossoms lend a touch of extra visual appeal. While hosta crispula thrives in fertile, shady soil with other perennials, it does require vigilant monitoring for herbivores, such as rabbits, snails, and deer. Number seven, dimple trout lily. A shade-loving perennial, the dimple trout lily is also known as adder's tongue or dog-tooth violet in its home region. In spring, when the transient foliage silently goes dormant at the end of May, it more than makes up for its lack of permanence by self-sowing into clumping colonies. 
because they do best in soil that is rich in humus and get shade throughout the year. They are a popular choice among plants that grow under trees. Number eight, Dutchman's Breeches. The classic addition to shaded woodland and cottage gardens, Dutchman's Breeches bring joy with their short-lived but delightful foliage. For those who want to grow only native plants in their gardens, this native wildflower is a wonderful choice because it is native to North America. Number nine, Eastern Hay Scented Fern. As it matures into beautiful mounds of delicately divided fronds that can reach a length of 30 inches, the unique deciduous Eastern Hay Scented Fern can be seen growing beneath trees. Denstagia pumptilobula, like the majority of ferns, forms a robust ground cover in even the poorest soil conditions when it thrives in the shade of woodlands. Number 10, English Bluebells. With their gently curled, upright leaves and bowed inflorescence of bell-shaped, blue blooms that seem to droop their heads solemnly despite their vibrant colors, the English Bluebell has a pastoral charm that is hard to resist. When set out in clusters under the shelter of forest canopy, they provide low-maintenance beauty. Number 11, Italian Arum. Italian Arum has broad, shapely leaves that are hard to resist for fans of decorative plants with enormous leaves. The plant is a perennial that emerges at the beginning of spring and has flowers with curled petals that look a lot like peace lilies. In the summer, the petals encircle a tall golden stalk that bursts open to reveal jewel-like berries that are blood orange in color. If gardeners harvest the fruit and save the seeds, they can plant them again and again. Number 12, Japanese Spurge. A shrubby mass of spreading runners and thick foliage, monochromatic Japanese Spurge is perfect for subtly filling sparse undergrowth. The evergreen foliage of Pachysandra terminalis is quite remarkable, yet it does display a fleeting plume of white blossoms in the spring. Spurge is incredibly adaptable, as it can thrive in soils with little to no light. It grows well along slopes and helps to avoid erosion. Number 13, Queen Cup. With its broad arching leaves enveloping a single, refined bloom sporting six ivory white petals, provides an unusual blend that is neither garish nor uninviting. Under ideal circumstances, which include somewhat acidic or neutral soil and ample shade, the queen cup can survive for up to 30 years. It usually takes seedlings three to four years to bloom, so you'll need to be patient with them. Number 14, Squirrel Corn. In their brief flowering season, these stunning porcelain-colored flowers release an overwhelming amount of seeds that can be planted in the ground to grow new plants. The parent plant and the progeny plant will both emerge in the early spring. Assuming the soil is healthy and damp, the low-maintenance squirrel corn plant will thrive under trees. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.